Well, thank you very much for taking the time today to talk to us. How did this idea come about? Okay, so um, it's been an idea that I've had for the last three or four years. So it was an idea that you've been thinking about, and it took a pandemic to kind of make it happen. So there was something positive that came out of something not so positive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was, it was kind of ironic that, that I know during a time like this, people tend to focus on all the things they don't have or they can't do. Um, and I thought this was just a nice way to, you know, shed some light on, you know, take a step back, self-reflect, realize there's so much in, in my life and your life and everyone's life to be grateful for. And then once we understand that, we'll realize there's people in less fortunate situations, which hopefully we're inclined to, you know, go out and, and make their day in whatever way we can, you know, and start a chain reaction. So when you got this idea and kind of passed it, so to speak, to some of your other teammates. Yeah, everybody's super on board. Um, I'm really, really thankful for, for my teammates, my coaches. Everybody's been um, a lot of positive feedback from that. I'm Steve Abinarski, a rising senior at Lehigh University. And the four things I'm grateful for, my friends and family, Lehigh University and all my teammates, having a fresh meal and a place to sleep every single night, and then Paul Marchetti for starting this message and showing the power and gratitude. What I'm grateful for, first and foremost, my family and friends. Secondly, my life. Uh, thirdly, the people that helped me when they didn't have to. Uh, and last but not least, the roof that's over my head. What are you grateful for? Uh, Rutgers Nation is extremely uh, a tight-knit group, and, and a lot of people have reached out through that. Um, so I'm really thankful and grateful um, just to be surrounded by people like that. So were there any responses that just blew you away or that you weren't re or weren't expecting? Um, one, one response I thought was really cool was uh, Eric. Eric LeGrand. What's going on, everybody? I want to give a quick shout out to my guy, Paul McKay, for in times like this, starting a foundation called the Grateful Four Foundation. I'm going to give you the four things I'm grateful for. And number one is my God. Number two is my family, my friends and supporters. Number three is health. And number four is being able to wake up with the ability to inspire the world on a daily basis. Football player for Rutgers, paralyzed after a terrible accident during it was it during a game, right? Wasn't yeah, it? I met Eric two or three years ago, and, and we've been in touch. And, and I shot him the idea, and 15 minutes later, he sent me his video, and he put it out there. So I thought that was that was really cool. Where do you go from here with the Grateful Four Foundation? Long term, I would love to turn it into a, a legit nonprofit where we can help people from um, a monetary uh, stand, standpoint. But um, I want to, I want, I want a headquarters in, in Bayonne, New Jersey, where I live, and have that be a safe place for people. I love it, and also have the headquarters here in New Jersey. So paying it forward in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. New Jersey's been been huge and uh, making me who I am, and and I'm I'm hope, hopefully I put myself in a position to you know give back in the future.